Can you play this beginner drum beat that almost every other drummer plays wrong? Well, I, I don't know, let's find out. Now there is a classic drum beat out there that beginner drummers play all the time, but I've noticed that there are three things that we can tweak about this beat to make it sound a million times better. But first, let's just hear what this beat sounds like at its raw form. Now honestly, that beat sounds fine, but by incorporating kick drum subtraction, snare drum dynamics, and hi-hat accents, we can improve this drum beat and take it to the next level. But first, if you aren't already familiar with how to play that bass line beat, let me teach it to you real quick so then we can improve it from there. First, we are gonna start off by playing eighth notes on the closed hi-hat. So just one and two and three and four and. Then the snare drum pattern is a little bit more unique. We play on beats two and four, but we have two notes in between that on the uh of beat two and the e of beat three. So now you have one and two and a three E and four and. Then we are just playing straight eighth notes on the kick with the exceptions of beats two and four. So now let's hear that beat back at a slower tempo one more time and we will improve it from there. Okay, so let's talk about kick subtraction here. One of the big things that kind of bothers me about this beat is that it has no feel. And part of the reason that it has no feel is because the bass drum is just filling in all the gaps. There's just simply too many notes going on between the kick drum and the snare drum. So we wanna let this beat breathe a little bit. So now let's try a quick experiment where we slowly take away a single bass drum note until we find a beat that has enough space for it to breathe and that feels a little bit better overall. All right, so that is already starting to feel better to me. Now, one other subtle change I would like to make is by switching the kick drum pattern every measure. So I think we should actually subtract one more note for the first measure. So the kick drum is just on beat one and the and of beat three. And then on the second measure, we add in that other kick drum on the and of beat one. Now, if you're struggling with this drum beat in the first place, it could be because you need a little bit more work on your independence and coordination on the drum kit, which is why I have created a free course for you called the Beginner's Guide to Independence. Now, because we are in the countdown to my online drum school, DBO Academy, where I am going to be opening up doors to new members for only six days on August 31st, I'm gonna be giving you a free course every week leading up to it. So, like I said, this week's is the beginner's guide to independence where you can improve your hand and feet independence so you can play drum beats like this much, much easier. Click right up here to get instant access to the free course. But now let's find out what step number two is to improve this drum beat. Now let's talk about snare drum dynamics. Now, if you are unfamiliar with the word dynamic, it is simply referring to how hard or how soft you're hitting your drums. So basically what we're talking about here is either making certain notes on the snare drum louder or softer, and in this case, I want to make them softer by making some of them ghost notes. Another new term. Ghost notes is just another word for playing at a very soft dynamic. So maybe when your stick height is only three inches off the drum rather than like 12 inches off the drum, you get a much 
quieter sound there. So in this case, I wanna keep beats two and four nice and strong at a louder dynamic, but those other two snare drum notes, I think could benefit from being played a little bit quieter as ghost notes. I think this will change up the feel of the beat a little bit and again, help it breathe a little bit more. So now let's see how this beat sounds different when we change those notes to ghost notes. Check it out. Finally, the last thing I think we can do to improve this beat is by adding hi-hat accents. So right now, all those eighth notes are played pretty loud, but what I wanna do is accent each quarter note, so beats one, two, three, and four, and then on the ends of every beat, I want us to play those notes quieter. So with the tip of our stick on the top of the hi-hat to get a bit of a quieter sound. Here's what that sounds like. So that already gives it a little bit more of a laid back feel. It doesn't sound as robotic as those constant eighth notes on the hi-hat. So now let's see how this affects the beat overall. All right, so now we are getting a pretty awesome sounding beat, but let's take a quick look at what this beat started off sounding like to what it sounds like now. So as you can see, there are a ton of different ways you can play this drum beat. But the question is, are you gonna be one of the few people that can make it sound really, really good? If you guys enjoyed this lesson and want a more concrete path of lessons to take you from a beginner drummer to an advanced drummer, I would highly encourage you to check out DBO Academy. Right now, doors are closed, but if you join the waitlist right up here, I will send you a free lesson right away to help you improve your coordination. I appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. I genuinely hope that it helped you out and I can't wait to see what you do with this awesome beat. Stay true guys and I will see you very soon. Bye.